So how do you calculate the percent composition of iron, sulfur, and oxygen in iron 3 sulfate? Well, it turns out the first thing is we got to find the total mass. I've created a little table to help us out with that. And then we can easily find those percents from there. Take a look. Bam. So the first step is to write down the elements we see in the compound. So we have iron, we have sulfur, and we have oxygen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So the subscript of iron is a 2. That means we have 2 iron. Now the subscript of sulfur here is a 1. But we don't have one sulfur because sulfur is tied up inside of the polyatomic anion sulfate. So all you have to simply do to find the total sulfur is take that subscript of sul sulfur and multiply it by the outer subscript of 3. So the total amount of sulfur then would be 3. And then same thing for oxygen, you just multiply those numbers together so it's 12. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each element. And those masses are found on the periodic table, so let's take a look. So iron here is going to be 55.85, oxygen is 16, and sulfur is about 32.07. So those are the values we're going to write down. So for iron here we have 55.85. Uh, the sul uh, sulfur uh, mass is about 32.07, and then oxygen is going to be 16. Then to find the total mass of that element in the compound, we just have to simply multiply this row on across. So the total mass of iron here will be about 111.7. The total mass of sulfur then is going to be 96.7. We make that a little neater, 2, 1. And then the total mass of oxygen is going to be 192. So then to find the total mass of the entire compound, guess what we got to do? Just set up all the total mass of each element, right? So this is going to work out to be 399.91. And there it is, right? That's the first step, finding the total mass of the entire compound for the percent composition of each element. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a column to the table and calculating, calculating oh, if I could speak, that help. Calculating the percents of each of these elements is going to be easy peasy. Bam. So to calculate the mass percent of iron, we're simply going to take the total mass of iron, 111.70, and then divide it by the total mass of the entire compound, 399.91, and then multiply it by 100 to get it into a percent. This is a simple percent calculation part over whole times 100. The units don't even matter because the units would cancel here. So just write down the magnitudes. So here we're going to have a percentage of roughly 27.93. And then we're going to do the same exact process for sulfur. So we're going to take the total mass of the sulfur, 96.21, divided by the total mass of the entire compound, 399.91, simply multiply that by 100, and it works out to now be 24.06% or so, considering the rounding. And last but not least, oxygen, right? This is 192. Who cares about the zero? Don't worry about the sig figs. Worry about it on the test because you don't want to lose 48 points on one question. All right? So this is 0.91 times 100. And then when we calculate that percent, we're going to get 48 48 point, I don't know, zero one or so percent. All right, and this all should add up to 100. Just check yourself before you wreck yourself, and that's all there is to it. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I really do hope this video helped, and if it did, like and subscribe. All right, it allows us to produce more content for you. We'll see you soon. Take care.